Well, Merry Christmas and other holiday <laughs> tidings to you guys. This is Nick Mike Black and the oh. exceptionally fabulous Steve Fraser. Well, thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas, And, and uh, we're all obviously giving you a fantastic Christmas commentary for Home Alone. An actual Christmas movie. Can you yes. believe this? This is a far cry from Silent Night, Deadly Night, and, and Black Christmas, and yes. all those that we've covered in the past. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a real one. Yes. And we're actually doing this from the, the recently released 4K edition, so this is the first film we're doing from a 4K disc. Really? Yes. I don't think I knew that. Yes, we are watching the 4K version. Well, that's hot. Yes. So, guys, get your own copy of Home Loan synced up to the timestamp of zero and turn on your subtitles to follow along. And we'll sync up with the commentary. So, in three, two, one, play. All right. <clears throat> Let's all be transported back to the Christmas season of 1990. Mm-hmm. 31 years ago. John Hughes, R.I.P. Yeah, he passed about 11 years ago, I think. Can't believe it. <clears throat> Chris Columbus is kind of his breakout role. Yeah, he, Our breakout directorship. Yeah. He, he directed one of your favorites, Adventures, Adventures of Babysitting. Adventures of Babysitting, right, right your, yeah. Your fabulous... Uh, crush of all time. Oh, Elizabeth Shue, absolutely. It's a wonderful film. It's one of the best. Again, well, it's John... Is John Hughes a Chicago guy? No, John Hughes is a Chicago guy. Is yes. uh, Columbus a Chicago guy? I, I don't th- think so. I don't remember. I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't remember. He um, is Pennsylvania. Oh. This is... One of, if not maybe, the very first movie that I ever... Want. We'll come back to him in a minute. Oh, yes. um, one of the very first movies, I think, that I've ever saw twice in the movie theater. Oh. I don't even remember actually seeing it in the theater. I know, obviously, you saw it a bunch on home at home. Welcome to Winnetka, Illinois. Yes. Which is uh, a very ritzy neighborhood oh, about yes, yes. 45 minutes north of where we sit right now. I've driven through there a time. It is actually a very popular um, activity in the Chicago land area at Christmas time to drive to the Home Alone house and take your picture in front yeah. of it. <clears throat> it looks a little different right now than it did <laughs> back then. They've they've kind of changed up the driveway yeah, a little bit. They removed the, the the roundabout. The turnabout, yeah. Here is the oh. delectable Catherine O'Hara. Uh, She's a phenomenal treasure. Everybody has really jumped on board with Schitt's Creek in the mm. last 10 years. Um, I was a little disappointed in it, but okay. hey, that's just me. Right. Um, Macaulay Culkin, go he, ahead. He's the same age as we are. I know. Yeah, he was <laughs> He was born, uh, I believe, in August, August maybe, of 1980. So he's a little, few months behind us. Uh, let's talk about this hideous wallpaper. Yeah, it's a little much. <laughs> Apparently the production designer was not a fan of Christmas. Right, right. So he just decided to make everything green and red and not really kind of involve himself. That much in like anything, any other right? Anything else Christmassy? But it works. But yeah, it's a little much. It's a little much. <clears throat> Macaulay Culkin at this point, really on a hot streak. Oh, yeah. uh, coming off of Uncle Buck. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's so good. <laughs> a fancy orphanage is a great line. <clears throat> There's uh a wonderful dynamic here of oh, yeah. all these characters and 
A quick establishment of everything. Bad, right, and bad wallpaper again mm. in the bathroom. A lot of it. Holy lot shit. Of it. She's been in stuff, to this girl here on the right. She's got to say, again, it's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> um, Most of this was a soundstage. Right, almost all of it. Everything, every, the whole house. I believe they, they replicate a lot of stuff from the actual house. Like, a lot of the stuff down here, down the... I think the front stairwell because they do a lot of stuff going out the front door right. that's it but they they blended everything perfectly i mean some of this might probably more for when they start doing more destruction or whatnot is more the sound stage but this might have been this is hilarious <laughs> <clears throat> there is the uh, obligatory michael jordan yeah the jordan yeah Who at this point had not even won a no, championship. He had not won anything, but he was probably an MVP by now or something like that. He was definitely. All star. Yeah. He was on his way oh, for yeah. sure. It looks like Biff Ten's kid or something. A little bit. Yeah, he's got a little Biff in him. <laughs> if you were growing on my ass, is such a good line. <laughs> Again, John Hughes, I don't know how he does it. I, I don't know. Yeah, he had a magic. There is, I mean, he's one of the best screenwriters of all time. Yeah. South Bend is a really shitty suburb in uh, in the Indiana state line, mm. in Indiana side of the... Um, mm. Well, it's actually further down. It's kind of halfway between Chicago and Indianapolis is mm. South Bend. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, if you're on I-65, you you pass right through it. And uh, this is, you're establishing like a folklore here, mm -hmm. which is such a cool thing. Oh, yeah. Because the payoff is so good, right? Well, it's the interesting thing. I mean... The house I used to live in, as a kid, next door, we had this family. Where you could almost equate it to, like, the fam the family in the Burbs with Tom Hanks. Okay. That type of thing is, like... It, it was just, just a weird... Just from a service level. They just seemed a little strange and grungy, and you didn't really know much about them, so you thought all these different things. So it was like... It just... All, the, all these types of films just resonated, resonated because they just had a weird... There was just a weird thing next door. I don't know what it was. Right. <clears throat> they were called the Hickeys. Oh, good. So there you go. That didn't help anything. If you're listening to this. <laughs> yeah, uh, this guy's going to get in an accident real soon. Little Nero's is, <laughs> is not a real place. This no. is a very popular Chicagoland novelty t-shirt. Is the Little Nero's pizza. I, um, well, it's clearly a, a take on Little Caesars. Right. So here on the right. We have yeah. we have my guy Kieran Culkin. Mm -hmm. This is Max's little brother, mm -hmm. who is currently on the Emmy Award winning Best Show Succession. Okay. Oh yeah, a lot of talk about that one. And I believe, <laughs> oh maybe it's not this <laughs> movie. I was thinking there's another. Mm. Is the, I love that the, nobody's ever, ever actually questioned why the police are in the house. Yeah. He just knocked on the door and someone opened it. Because I ain't paid for shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? There's another <laughs> movie somewhere where there there's pictures on, on the... Mm. Like... They they had like baby <clears throat> pictures or whatever of Macaulay when he was younger. Okay. But instead of using those, they just they were just pictures of Rory, the youngest Culkin. Okay. Um, mm. So Rory actually makes screen appearance, like you know You're Rory pretty, from pretty screen short window because Mac kind of retired more or less. Right, like I want to say it might have been like The Good Son or one of those. Movies yeah, maybe. That, um, Yeah, what a what a life <clears throat> he's had. He was uh, he was with Mila Kunis for many years. Yeah, good for him. 
<laughs> Good for her. Twelve bucks back then. That's a mm -hmm. lot of money. Yeah. There's just something, something that just feels so very authentic about this whole thing. Oh, the chaos of a holiday. Right. <laughs> just, 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 you go to your relative's house for the holiday and you just like, everyone's kind of just having all this sort of banter back and forth. The, 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 the kind of communal feel of it. Right. It's good they had like 10 pizzas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes the milk. Oh, there, <clears> there goes the goes. oh the Pepsi on the pizza. That's oh, no good. Kieran, I'm sorry. Yeah. Poor kid. <laughs> All their passports. All the passports. Soaked. Who puts the passport on the freaking kitchen? Yeah. Counter. And were we supposed to infer that those were the plane tickets that just went in the trash? Something just went in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. Great shot of everyone oh, glaring. Yeah. <clears throat> so, well, is that a Weasley? What is that? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this wallpaper, not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is a delight oh man he's a delight oh yeah the gold tooth uh -huh. is a great at no point has anybody questioned why the police are standing in the hole right 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I think Singer he did good fellas. Yeah, it like is such, it is quite a juxta difference. juxtaposition there, yeah. No. <laughs> 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 There's a great uh thread here. I mean, they've, right. they've referenced this peeing the bed joke like oh, yeah. four times yeah. already. Wow. This is... <laughs> wow. A great uh, the the dialogue for a ten year old. Oh yeah. It's so spot on. Mm hmm. Great Chicago flag hanging yeah. up there. Chicago Cubs mm -hmm. over there. This is this is great. <laughs> Sorry, we're all, we're homers, but it's fine. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a this is a very famous home right. in Winnetka. I believe it recently went on sale. Yeah. They get sold for multiple millions. Yes. Talk about that John Williams credit you mentioned. Um <clears throat> so this is not the main theme, uh, but it is a a recurring theme. Yeah. And <clears throat> If I had to <laughs> if I had to uh that's hilarious <laughs> pick and somebody said, okay, I mean we could talk about John Williams sure. for a minute. So there's Jaws. Yes. Star Wars. Indiana Jones. 
Superman. Superman. Jurassic Park. Harry Potter. Mm. Schindler's List. Yeah. Many of these he's won Academy <laughs> Awards for. <laughs> I mean, he's the greatest <laughs> composer. Not all of them. He's the greatest composer of all time, right? Film, yes. film composer. Yeah. Um, if you said, which one's your favorite? Yeah. I'd be hard pressed not to pick somewhere in my memory the theme to Home Alone. Mm. Because God damn it, it makes me tear up. Oh. Every time. It was the whole thing. It's like okay. The song, not so much oh, yeah. the movie, oh, yeah. just the song. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But, but it was the whole thing. It's like okay, when they got the post production, they're kind of like they had one guy attached to it, but he fell out. <clears throat> And they're just kind of batting back around, like kind of jokingly. It's like, oh, well, what if we got John Williams? And then, start, the more they talked about, it, the more like, maybe we should just try getting John Williams. <laughs> I think it's just because you always think John Williams, like, oh, is he, he's not going to be interested in this. This is a little bitty, right. low budget family movie type of thing. I think John Williams, as long as he's interested in the project, he'll probably be doing it anyway. I mean, obviously, I'm sure he demands a certain salary, but I'm sure if he was very interested in being involved with it, he would take concessions or something like that if he had to go a little lower on the whole thing. He's an artist. He wants to be involved with something, and he creates such great stuff that it's like, okay, he just wants to create something, and it's just fabulous. Bring me <laughs> back something French <laughs> is a, a, French. Very, a very popular quote here I know lots of people that say bring me back something French um, <laughs> Ma Bell is a reference to Illinois Bell okay. which is our was our phone yeah, provider at the, time. at the time yeah now granted there's lots of other quote unquote bells yeah. um, throughout the country yeah. But Illinois Bell is is who they were referring to. Okay. Whenever I hear this song, oh, yeah. I only think of this scene mm -hmm. and O'Hare Airport. <laughs> um, this is actually this is actually O'Hare. Oh yeah. Uh, those famous ceiling up there, that vaulted yeah. Yeah. Uh, cathedral ceiling. Mm -hmm. Not so much that one. That one's been remodeled. Yeah. But the one that they showed before. Okay. Um, is still very much. The same as it was. The same as it was, and uh, they do, they decorate it very, uh, this is a thing. It, mm -hmm. Oh, here at Christmas is like a thing. <laughs> Ugly Christmas sweater before <laughs> yeah. it was a thing. Yeah. These are all like first class seats. This is so oh, yeah. clearly a set. Oh, yeah. Unless they actually did fly first class. Because there's a curtain back there, so it almost yeah. looks like maybe the adults are in first. Probably. Yeah, I think that's the case. How much does eight first class tickets to Paris cost? There might, I think there might be one parent back there that <laughs> there's a watch over them. There's back. a lot of fake trees in this home. <laughs> American Airlines. This was before um, United became like a, a, a hub had a okay. Chicago became a hub city for United I believe okay I, it is currently I'm just saying I think this takes place before that mm -hmm. otherwise I imagine that they would have used United mm. um, if you think about United Airlines you think Chicago yeah. <clears throat> you can get some business done in that kitchen absolutely even a VCR in the kitchen now that's that's some that's some living I have a very similar container on my kitchen counter for all of my dried spaghetti. Okay. There's some Dawn dish soap. The production designer needs to be fired <laughs> for this outlandish everything. <laughs> we'll say they did a fantastic job on this transfer. I mean, they, they definitely nailed the color as well. Everything looks very warm and bright. <laughs> Again, another thing that feels authentic, of course, 
Of course, you got some uncle who's kind of a a stickler type of guy who's got got these kind of quirks or whatnot. It's like they just nail a certain like different relatives. Like I don't, I don't really like that guy, that uncle. I don't really like him, but this one's okay or something like that. A nice distinctive quality right. between everyone. They kind of give us that sort of like yeah. You're, you're, at the holidays, like you're, you're, you're glad to see some people, but other people are like, ah, I don't want to spend any time with that person. I don't want that person coming over or something like that. <clears throat> I thought it was. Uh, did, did you catch the line where she says she, Catherine O'Hara, pronouns pal? Sure. There's a Marshall Fields bag. Oh, um, there you go. Straight out of Chicago, um, where she said she asked the husband, "Do you feel like a heel?" <laughs> Flying first class when all the kids are back in town. <laughs> so she actually used the word heel, which I thought was in- interesting. Poster. Yeah, wearing, he's wearing a bull's hat. Damn. Despite the fact that the production designer screwed everyone on the on the visuals with the wallpaper and stuff, mm-hmm. all of the actual stuff in the house is spot on and yeah. really, really cool. Big arm and hammer. Yeah, mannequins down here for some reason. Well, sure you would. <laughs> Your basement doesn't have mannequins? I don't have a basement. Oh, that's right. I've never had a basement. Ooh. <laughs> Straight out of, like, the Mangler or one of, one of those... Get those roller blades out of there too, because ain't no, 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 no roller blades. Hashtag quads for life. <laughs> he has such good facials. Yeah. <clears throat> and great bed head. Oh, yeah. It's very, I don't even know what you call that, but it's so poofy. <laughs> I like. I like that they really good. They refilmed all of those. Yeah, from like point of view shots. Yeah. <laughs> And how great, I mean... Oh, yeah. The whole idea that he's going to, like, live like a king for a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how many how many ficuses, fake ficuses, does one family need? Playboy, Twinkies, old school junior mints... <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Buzz, your girlfriend, Wolf. That might be uh, that might be my most quoted Home Alone line. Anytime I see an unfortunate-looking female. <laughs> You've used that before in the commentary. Buzz your girlfriend, woof. Well, if we've done over 100 of them. I don't remember what I said. The, the opening of My Bloody Valentine. Oh. It's like, put the mask back on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there goes Walter Payton. <laughs> there goes Larry Bird. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, ready whip. Your Springsteen video anthology. Oh. And this, uh, you know, un- unfortunately, this is not a real movie. No. But they, they went through such a process, like they actually got vintage black and white stock to film the whole thing with. You get all the, like, the, the right props and all the little things, like, you, yeah. you couldn't replicate it any better. (laughs) 
paint does no more. <laughs> Rotching rubbish. <laughs> Boy, he's gonna get uh, sick eating all that. Well, that looks like <laughs> that's one helping for me. <laughs> Jesus. Snakes. <laughs> Isn't it funny how this segment, this black and white movie within the movie, is just as popular as anything else? Yes, yeah. absolutely. The no good yellow keister <laughs> off yeah. my property is commonly <laughs> quoted. Commonly. Keep the change, you filthy animal. This is on t shirts. Yeah. It's on a t shirt. I, the, the banter is so oh, yeah, they're, they're, is so good. Yeah, they're they're perfect together. I mean, he he looks a per like the perfect Midwestern dad. Yes. She's such a beautiful woman. Oh man, she just she just again. This transfer just makes her look so much. Brings out her eyes. The, the color of her hair, just like everything. She just looks like a million dollars. It was, you know, right place at the right time, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, like I was saying, you know, she went on to, to star in Schitt's Creek. Yeah. Which, you know, with Eugene Levy, you figure oh. you can't go wrong with that You're combination. Typically, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, they, they've been in so many things together mm -hmm. um, back from the SCTV days. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, that doesn't work quite like that, by the way. <laughs> Not quite. Um, but good for him for trying it out, right? <laughs> um, and there's just something about uh, their chemistry, yeah. which is so good all the time, mm -hmm. that the show, Schitt's Creek, left me kind of flat. Okay. And I think everyone else loved it because they're not as well versed in their those two actors okay. so to them it you was, have a higher expectation i have a higher expectation right okay. this idiot i forgot my glasses <laughs> it's a dick <laughs> oh, these two man here we go there's a dodge Daniel ram Stern. <sighs> if uh if anybody watching this has not yet seen it, mm -hmm. I do highly recommend the uh, the Netflix show. Uh, there's a series called um, <clears throat> The Movies That Made Us, and one of the premier first episodes was about this. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick, you watched it recently yes. for the first time. <clears throat> there's a great little anecdote about Daniel Stern not actually being cast in the movie originally, right. or he well, was, he, he, he was, and he then was. He, he hokey pokeyed a little bit. Well, he was, and I think they extended the amount of time they're going to film for it, and they wouldn't give him a raise on it. So okay. he bowed out, and they went with Daniel Roebuck, who's a pretty solid comedic actor or anything like that. But they found out him and Pesci had no chemistry, right? And so they was like, well, "This it's not going to work out." So they went back to Stern here, and <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much like a career-making role. The rest is, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Pesci at this point. Has been like in Scorsese films all over the place, right? Multiple Scorsese yeah. films, um, and uh, <laughs> now is the Grinch a 20th Century Fox property? I think it is. I do not know because then they would be able to perhaps poach their own, much like we talked about in the Jaws Revenge commentary recently um okay plumbing and heating get out of here with that shit um 1966 special 
Well, if it was 19, if it was a TV special, then probably not, because 20th Century Fox, I don't think, was even a TV channel in 66. No, not until 80, 87 or so. MGM owned it. Well, they I'm, were, I'm sure they licensed it. Something like that, so yeah. But at, at this time, Daniel Stern, he was the voice of the older Fred Savage on Wonder Years. That's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> and that at that point... Doing all the narration. Right, yeah. So if you've ever watched the Wonder Years, all of the... I'm sure you knew this, but yeah. all of the... Yeah, the, the narrator is Daniel Stern. Yeah. Which... It's so funny because he's not a... Like, a good-looking actor. Right. You know, he's... Right. He's uh, just looking at him. You go, right. that's a comedian. Yeah. Which is funny because you don't look at Joe Pesci and think there's a good looking actor. No. Um, but you know that he can act because oh, yeah, yeah. he literally just got off an Oscar nomination. Yeah. I have no idea if this is actually, this is clearly not the airport in Paris. No, I, I don't, don't. I don't think they, no, 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 no. Um, they, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? No, not um, a chance. So, if I had to guess, it's just another section of O'Hare that I, Possibly, don't, that I yeah. don't recognize. Unless they went down the midway or something like that, but I don't know. I can't imagine them moving the production all the way around just for yeah. that. Um, so, that, that Netflix show basically chronicles the making of the movie and how yeah. the entire thing is pretty much built inside an elementary school. Yeah. Uh, like it was vacant, and they basically recreated, built this whole set right. in the swimming pool of the... <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, as, as much as, like, Chicago wants to be an, is, is an art city, and they want to, at least in a lot of recent years and whatnot, want to attract a lot of film productions, they've never had, like, sound stages or anything like that. It's all kind of, everyone basically shoots on, like, practical locations. Exteriors, right, yeah. yeah. The South Bend Slayer, or whatever he was. <laughs> That's a great, just a great expression overall. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Village Police Department, even though she's wearing a Chicago flag. Right, which is a little odd. Police Department, serve, protect. It's so bland. But she's got the Chicago flag on her right arm. Right, right, and Pesci did too. Right. On the jacket. Mm. God, I love the Chicago flag. I've seen this guy around. He's a good character actor. So, is... I was going to say, I thought maybe that was uh, What's-His-Nuts from the SCTV crew, mm. um, but I don't think it is. Mm. The, the donut stuck to the phone <laughs> is tremendous. <laughs> I like how this is all just like procedural comedy. She transfers over to him, he's going to transfer back over yes. somewhere. It's like, you can't get anywhere. Brontu. Nobody wants to deal with nothing. And because before they left, they said because of the power outage, all the phone lines are screwed right. up, so they can't just call exactly. someone. And also, half the people on the block are out of town. That's the whole deal with the wet bandits. They're pillaging the neighborhood because no one's there. And at this point, yeah. they've created enough, um, I guess, misdirection mm -hmm. for Kevin right. that he's not going to trust. It's a cry wolf situation. Right. He doesn't actually know that this is the real police. He's scared out of his mind. Yeah.
And those are actual Chicago patches. I thought maybe the stars were messed up, but mm. those are the, the six pointed stars. Yeah. <clears throat> have we touched on in the past, have we touched on what the four stars stand yeah. for? In case anybody didn't listen to the yeah. previous commentary, the uh the four stars do represent famous landmarks in Chicago history. It might have been our child's play commentary, because that was also that, Chicago. Okay, all right. So Maybe. Fort Dearborn is the prison, or not prison, excuse me, the military base yes. that became the city of Chicago. Yes. And then there was the Great Chicago Fire, mm -hmm. is the second star. And, and then we have the two World's Fairs. Mm -hmm. The famous one of 1893, mm -hmm. and the one that we just discussed at dinner, the Century of Progress, 1933. <laughs> Those are the four stars that make up the Chicago flag. And then the two stripes represent the river. God, I love Chicago. <laughs> I like so much uh, just her arc and the whole thing. It's like she, obviously she starts out mad at Kevin, but she she feels so guilty. Right, as any mom would. Yeah. Um, and then, really, Kevin, who is your main character, mm -hmm. has the best arc. You know, yeah. like starting off wishing his parents would... Screw off. Would screw, right, exactly. Every, he wished everyone would disappear. Yeah. Uh, look at all this green. Again, the art direction. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just went a little, little too far. Push a little hard into it. <laughs> this is hilarious because he's ten. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he goes from. There's your most famous shot. Yeah. Right? It's on the cover of the movie. Right. Um. Tops baseball cards. Hmm. Um, you go from. Him. Wishing the family would go, mm -hmm. and then, this is a bad idea, kid, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, to feeling free, like, right. I'm home alone, I can do whatever I want, Yeah. and then how quickly, once he got scared, yeah. transition to, I need to be an adult now, he's talking about what right. he was going to pick up at the grocery store mm -hmm. when he went out. Yeah. <laughs> who is that I, I couldn't tell who that mm. baseball card was it kind of looked like Fred McGriff but I thought no, I don't know if he was around it no idea who that is well of course you wouldn't <laughs> crime dog here's some of that beautiful John mm. Williams music <laughs> Smash the whole place. Yeah, up. why not, right? <laughs> I like that he's he's using that crowbar like a like a croupier just to, yeah. just to slide things right into his bag. <laughs> Snorkel. The snorkel, yeah. <laughs> That's like a kaleidoscope gimmick yeah. he's got there. That's pretty cool. There you go. Oh, God. This was first day of filming, this scene. Everything from here out to the chase into the ice rink. <laughs> Herb! There's the, uh, on top of the, right dead center of the screen is that little jackpot with the rainbow yeah. coming out of it. That is the Illinois Lottery mm -hmm. logo. Yeah. That 
alligator on the right. I don't know what that is. Ah! <laughs> Those blue eyes. Yeah. Like I said, the color comes out on this really, really well. Yeah, that's Robert's Blossom. He's act he's actually in John Carpenter's Christine. Oh, is he? Okay. He's the one who sells the car. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, we may we may be covering that later yeah. on uh, next year. So mm -hmm. keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, he's a really good character actor. Really good actor all all together. I don't remember where they said they filmed this. Mm. This was also when that cut, because uh, they were showing the exterior in, in the documentary there. And they, like, made this pond out of <clears throat> nothing, right? This pond doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this does look like Winnetka. Yeah. Because uh, some of that architecture at the back is also in Ferris Bueller, and I think they shot up there as well. Got it. That looks like our our commuter trains are Metra. Yep, there it is, Metra. There you go. Metra. The way to really fly, <laughs> as the uh, slogan goes. <clears throat> I'm a criminal. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Clog the drain. You gotta you have know, a gimmick, man. You know, I'm pretty sure if you just turn the little thing in the, the the little plug thing okay you don't actually need to stop the drain you can no. just but it looks better on tv if he's you not that smart well no he's not you're right <laughs> what is that a vcr oh yeah it's smashing <laughs> around Wet bandits. Here he comes out with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let me flood the house. Yeah, that's a nice idea. We so don't want to get caught, we're just going to make it obvious that it's us. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so good. There's a uh, called JK5. Oh, no, there we go, man. JK5 it's is... It's been a uh, long time since we had a prefix. <laughs> Which, it's so funny because JK doesn't actually... Like, you can't make a word no. out of that. But JK, JK and L are the five on the five. So it's 555, five, five, which is the yes. pretend. Yes, yes. Normally it's KL for Klondike. I had to verify that there, so... <laughs> It was nice because the, the 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 gold tooth paid off there. Right. Yeah, it's not. If we go slow enough, you won't notice us. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's so many other vans on the street. Yeah, the freaking desolate neighborhood because everyone's out of town. <laughs> I like that scarf. Scarf and hat combo. I love this suburban neighborhood mm. feel. Oh yeah. In any movie, really. Mm -hmm. When when it looks like a real suburban oh, neighborhood. Yeah. And this one's genuine because, you know, it's set in Chicagoland mm -hmm. and it was actually filmed in Chicagoland. Right. 
granted, it was filmed in like a you know a top drawer neighborhood. Yeah, but still. Mm-hmm. That's smart. <laughs> How did he come up with that so quick? Cool? I don't know. I don't ask questions. Yeah, I do ask questions. <laughs> I shouldn't ask questions. I'll be when those when they come back. I'll be ready. <laughs> that that would be a good midpoint. But we're not there yet. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. Right. That line would. Hmm. <laughs> so good. That's where the mannequins come in. You gotta have a mannequin, right? There's MJ. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> and he's having a hell of a time. Ah. The mannequin on the record player. <laughs> The old Christmas tree we had, which was one of those fake ones, but it had the turntable on. You could spin it around. And oh play, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Playing music and everything. Yeah. So good. <laughs> He's so cute. Jimmy. No subtitles for this one. No. <laughs> you don't get no subtitles, Jimmy Stewart. Check that tray. Check that shrimp cocktail. Hot damn. Uh -huh. Look at that. I wonder how, how much all these freaking international calls are costing you. Well, if you can live in that house, I'm, I'm sure, I'm you, sure. I'm just you can afford first class tickets. Yeah. God damn, look at that shrimp cocktail. Ain't nobody eating any. Oh, oh Buzz he's, is. He's shopping on it. Again, the set decoration here, all green and blue. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like a rib, right? The the guy was like, he hated Christmas so yeah. bad. <clears throat> Again. Is it the same He's guy? Driving a Chrysler. It is the same guy. Yeah. Good way to not get a tip. You got curtains on the bottom there. Well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> this is tremendous. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Twelve dollars. Twenty cent tip. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, oh, this is so good. <laughs> Christ. Oh, my God. That's a good bump he took there. That wasn't a stunt man. Mm. This is so blatantly like movie, <laughs> movie snow or ice. Oh, yeah. Because he started filming in February, and it's like, usually... 
Usually you'll get you'll get snow in February, but it, it it's was more a little, cold. It was a little dodgy and whatnot. So they had to use like potato shavings or something oh, like sure, that. Oh, sure, yeah. Which ended up rotting after a couple of days. God damn <laughs> so it! It was it was a bit of a bit of a an ordeal. <laughs> Pocket translator. Oh, there you go. That, that. She's so good. Mm -hmm. There's my boy. Oh, there's Johnny. I feel like I watched Johnny Carson when I was 10. Great pajamas, too, mm -hmm. by the way. If anyone grew up after Johnny Carson, oh. you just have no idea whatsoever. Johnny was Hollywood. Yeah. Johnny could make anyone in a in a, in a moment, in a second. If he, if he got you on the Tonight, Tonight Show and you were no one before then, you were somebody afterwards. That's correct. That I didn't mean it is also a really good midpoint. Mm, um, but yeah. I don't think we're quite there yet either. Well, actually, yeah, we are. A little, that, little north of it, yeah. That, I didn't mean it, is the official declaration of yeah. the, the point of view change. Mm -hmm. That might be it. So, this is another situation where when I hear this song, mm -hmm. I only think of this movie. Yeah. I mean, they, they chose such really good song for this. Not like, not a lot of the old, typical, kind of worn-out stuff that was even kind of worn-out at that point. They chose really well ones. I mean, the Chuck Berry one at the, the, the airport is fabulous. Right. That never goes out of style. A lot of other ones, just like, they, they really chose really good ones. <laughs> what the air expression. It's so good, though. She's like, what? <laughs> She's just kind of baffled in a certain way. Stouffer's. Sally. Craft, Tide. <laughs> they went all out here, huh? <laughs> Tropicana. Ha, <laughs> 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 He's so charming. <laughs> He's got a coupon. What a great year. <laughs> She's got a little bit of like an Elizabeth the Shoe quality to her. Maybe, a tad. It's really, really good, just really good chemistry. I don't know about the bolo tie she's wearing. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How uh, they, I don't know how they gimmick those bags to drop just like that. Yeah, at the moment, right, right, at the right moment. Yeah. But that's a lot of that's a lot, dude. But that's <laughs> all right. That's all right. You're doing it. <laughs> You're doing it. I know a lot of adults that can't do their own laundry. Ah, uh, probably. But yet, he's <laughs> still afraid of the furnace. Yeah. There's such this back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. Like, 
I'm an he's an independent self-sufficient. Kid, but at the same time, he's still a scared little he's kid. He's still a kid, yeah. It's awesome. Like it. It's so perfect. Why was John Hughes not nominated for an Oscar for writing this movie? I haven't a clue. 1990. What the hell was 1990? Uh, misery. Misery, okay. Well, <laughs> but that didn't well, win. Um, oh, well. That didn't, that way, Kathy mm. Bates won, but uh, Dances with Wolves won everything. Okay. Maybe not everything, but that was that was the big the big thing. I don't know what won the screenplay. Could have been Woody Allen for was it Bullets Over Broadway? I'm getting there. <laughs> Mighty Aphrodite. That might have been ninety three. Ghost. Ghost won best screenplay. Ori best original screenplay adapted was Dances with Wolves. Woody Allen got nominated for Alice. Really? Alice is not one of his stronger movies. The original screenplays, I, I almost never heard of Andy's. Give, give them to me. Metropolitan. Nope. Green Card, which I think is that Gerard Depardieu movie. I, that sounds right, yep. And Avalon. Wow. Ray Levinson. Oh, yeah, Adapted that's... Adapted is a lot more obvious. I mean, commercial, yeah. Well, reversal. Fortune, Grifters, Goodfellas, Awakenings. Okay, yeah, those are... Dances, I yeah, mean, those yeah. are all very well-known prestige films. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Those poor garbage cans. Hilarious. <laughs> the little smirk at the end yeah. really gets me. Because that shitty grin, he's just yeah. so proud of himself. I say this all the time. Snakes. Snakes? I don't know no snakes. I don't know no snakes. <laughs> I say I don't know no snakes. <laughs> At least once a month. <laughs> Almost any time somebody says the word snake. <laughs> I mean... How long it takes him to kind of realize it. <laughs> He's so good at playing just like a fucking moron. He's got the sideburns. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Have this scene. So, wait. Did she not? Oh, she didn't fly into Chicago. No. She just got somewhere into the States. Scranton, um, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and here's the greatest oh, actor, well, maybe not actor, but no. the greatest film personality of our generation. Oh, absolutely delightful man. There is, was, nobody on earth that could command the screen with both comedic timing mm -hmm. and a heart of so oh, yeah. um, lovable. lovable loser that kind of self-deprecation mm -hmm. um, 
it was all like uh <laughs> this is tremendous <laughs> Gus, and he improvised the kenosha kick yeah it's all improv it's all improv <laughs> um and they only had candy for a day right i think they only paid him like 400 bucks yeah um anyway <laughs> <laughs> These are songs, she said. Um, John Candy mm. is... He's a big on, teddy bear. He's on the, my list of favorite actors of all time. Oh. Um, maybe top three. Mm. I... I can't express the loss oh, man. to the cinematic world. He's only in his mid forties. Yeah, when he passed at ninety four, give mm-hmm. or take. And these two go way back. Oh yeah, way to way the, back to the SCTV days. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I just mm. I see John Candy and and he, he, from my childhood, he, he his cinematic moments are some of the happiest, most favorite things oh, yeah. that I remember. Like from my childhood. Yeah, I mean he, at this point, I mean his, his career wasn't going so hotly anymore. But I mean, even the stuff that. He wasn't all that good, man. He was still as good as he ever was. Like Delirious. Yeah. Where it's, it, that's not. It's not good. It's not good, but man, he's he's he's, he's as on point as he ever was. Right. Yeah. He. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, and he's decorating mm-hmm. his own tree. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um. Yeah. There. There was never anybody like John Candy. No. And there never will be again. <laughs> it's not buying it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That is, is that the first time we've heard the, yeah. the word home yeah. alone? Yeah, I think so. At an hour and, yeah. about an hour in? It is? <laughs> I like that he said us scared (laughs) kids are us scared of the dark (laughs) budget (laughs) 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 oh Try it. I would pay so much money mm. to ride in a van with John Candy. <laughs> oh, S. Claus. <laughs> sure. This looks like a little pop up something that they yeah. just stuck in somebody's yard. Yeah. Like, where would this even be? There's houses behind there. Yeah, I don't know. It was some kind of weird courtyard thing. And he's got <laughs> parking a fucking t- parking ticket. There's a beat old Honda. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he's got the. Uh, <laughs> He uh, he had that kind of Chicago accent a little, a little, little bit there. If yeah. He, if he well, fit yeah. In, of in course. Of course not. <laughs> Got a candy bar or something, I think. Oh no, Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. I haven't this, had. This a, is the gesture. I haven't had a Tic Tac in so long. His license plate's falling yeah, down. Yeah. His Honda. Honda Accord. <laughs> oh, Rusty. That's nice. It's perfect. Everything is perfect. It's a near perfect movie. Mm. There's just so much heart. Oh, yeah. And again. And I think Chris Columbus brought that to the film because. Hughes's, Hughes's original draft was a little bit more boisterous, is what they the term they used. Probably a little bit more off the wall in a certain way. And I think Columbus came in and gave a little bit, more, grounded it a little bit more. He added more of the more of the warmth to the entire thing and more of the family dynamic. To I it mean, all. this this scene right here makes my heart hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm getting emotional. Oh yeah. I mean, this film does it to me every time. Every time. And again, this is part of the Williams' brilliance here, too. This is lyrics put over the actual main theme. Right. a beautiful church. Mm. I'm not a church person. No. I'm not a church goer. Mm -mm. I don't participate in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But I do appreciate mm -hmm. the beauty. Oh yeah, the architecture, all that. Right. The artistry. Um, the coral, oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh. I feel like there'd be more people there than that on Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, there'd be a whole... Congregation. Yeah, the entire thing. They'd have a the, the whole thing going. Of course, everyone in the neighborhood's out of fucking town, anyway. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> or they're all there's at that. Nobody here. They're all at that last there's guy's nobody house. Nobody in town. Despite um, not necessarily being a, I well, despite not being a religious person. Sure. I love this song, "Oh Holy oh. Night." Um, not so much the lyric and the meaning behind it but i think the orchestration and the mm -hmm. the melody and the harmonies oh, yeah. and the and it's just it's a beautiful song mm -hmm. they could be speaking gibberish right and right it's still a beautiful song mm -hmm. man <laughs> <laughs> like it like that Like, I'm getting emotional right uh, now, even. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so... The, the the dynamic of the little kid, like, not... Yeah. You know, he's afraid yeah. for no reason. Yeah. How does he not know his neighbor, though? You know? Sure. <laughs> the 
there's this mm-hmm. kind of uh well, I I like that this scene takes place in a church because yeah. I mean, there, there's such a great honesty when you have a little kid and and, and uh, more of an older gentleman that way or, or anything like that. It, it just feels like it feels like the kid and the parent or whatnot. And it wouldn't, there wouldn't be as much like straight honesty in a certain way. It just feels like there's a, a certain honesty between strangers. Yeah. They can unload things without having a judgment about things. It's not as complicated. It's a little bit more straightforward. They can feel a little bit more freed up. You're right. Like this is not mm-hmm. something that he would just divulge to any right. old neighbor. Right. right. Even a neighbor is the wrong word because he actually is his literal neighbor. Right. But, but someone he knows around town, he wouldn't right. quite do that because it's, 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 and in and the brilliance of this is that he. Kevin mm-hmm. ends up being the advice giver. Right. Which God damn it, John Hughes John Hughes is gonna go down as one of the greatest screenwriters of mm-hmm. all time. Well, I take that back. He is one of the greatest, and I feel like he is not appreciated as such. Not as much, not on that level. I mean, it, it, just the simplicity of being able to like say things in kid terms. <laughs> sort, sort of like that. Just like just the fact that like he can, Kevin can just he, uncomplicate the situation. Right. He well, because it's from he a nine-year-old perspective. From an objective point of view, it's right. Like, he's not affected by all the complicated emotions and whatnot that the older gentleman here is. So he can kind of see like if you just kind of reach out to your son and try to see if something can be done, if I, if, if I can invite something to mend this entire type of thing, then you won't have to deal, don't have this hanging over your head all the time. Again, wonderful actor. Perfect scene. Perfect, yes. <clears throat> he knows he's got to get home. Mm-hmm. It only rang eight times. Oh. So he's got an hour. Yeah, one hour. We'll find... I think it only rang eight times. Pretty sure. It would make sense why he's running everything, because for everything that he's planning to do in an hour, it's a real short time. Funny how everyone's timer was set to come on ten seconds after the, yeah. the, the house yeah, fire. Yeah, we're all slightly off. So awesome. Fabulous. I love that he put by Kevin McAllister at the bottom. Yes. Micro Machines. Yes. John Machida. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that the tarantula yeah. is just around. Yeah. Did you see? Mm. There's a story going around right now. Um, 
as we record this, um, there's a story going around where the owners of this home okay. are um, opening it up. I don't know if it's a contest or what the... I don't know okay. the, any of the details other than someone is going to be able to spend the night there okay. as like an Airbnb kind of okay. experience. Hmm. Um, and from what I read, uh, they have like... They even have a tarantula, no. like at the home. There it goes. Um, so, <laughs> good Christ, this! <laughs> what, I, I can't. I can't. It is decorated um, like that all year round. Is that right? <laughs> no right. one just puts up wallpaper just for a month. <laughs> so apparently, there's some sort of experiential overnight that okay. you can that you can participate in at this mm. actual home in Winnetka, Illinois. So I, I know many, many people listen to our commentaries, and I realize not everyone is from our, right. our sure. neighborhood. Yeah. Um, Winnetka is a, a very northern suburb mm -hmm. of Chicago. Um, <laughs> dare I say it's halfway between Chicago and the Wisconsin state border. Okay. Um, little mac and cheese there. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Glass of milk. A chalice of milk. Nah. Gold flatware. No time to eat it. It's piping hot too. Yeah, he's going to eat it with a fork and a, and a knife. It's unusual. The fork, I guess, I could see, but not the knife. Mm. I guess I usually do a <laughs> spoon with my mac yeah. and cheese. There's coffee in the coffee pot. <laughs> Why is there co Oh, well, oh, she says, did you turn it off? Or did I turn it off? He says, no, I did. So they rushed out in a hurry. They didn't have a yeah. chance to clean the coffee pot. Yeah. Makes sense. Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I bet she had to come up with this entire... Ad-lib, right? Uh, it's a, well, this, yeah, like this, a scat. This, yeah, this sort of thing, because he was so used to, like, if it's not a sort of skate... So, Scorsese? Marty Scorsese script, every, like, third word is a curse word that he would just interject into the script, but obviously can't do that. Right, because this is like <laughs> so, a G or a PG. So he had to find a, a kind of... a way to find that kind of angsty type of quality right, about it. Right, right, without yelling fuck. Right. You can't say fuck in a kid's movie? God, no. <laughs> you, I mean, today you could probably do one. <laughs> mm. Can you do one fuck? Maybe you, a PG-13. You can't motherfuck, though. Oh, God, no. <laughs> motherfuck is an R. Automatic. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. <clears throat> Oof. It's a great little bit in that documentary about about yeah, the, the Pratt the Pratt Falls of, yeah. of the stunt guy. Everyone behind the camera is like wincing every single time. I had to just double check and on. You sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> it just so this so this here. I love the part oh. where they talk about the cinematography here. Oh, yeah. And how it was very unique for the time. Yeah. Um, like, there weren't a lot of, like, those overhead point-of-view shots. Yeah. That was, that was like, his backup safety angle. And you find out, like, Ended up this wide-angle stuff is working better than the other stuff I'm doing coverage for. Right. Like, the, the second unit almost ended up, be, it became the first unit. Kind of, in a way. <laughs> If anybody's ever tried to walk upstairs, this oh, is brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, God, <laughs> God almost, damn it. Oh, it's right on his neck. On the concrete. I love that he's that the crowbar really gets me. This is hilarious. <laughs> Everything about like what's so good about this movie is that kind of the switching around between um like charming to yeah. um like tension of you know like am i going to get home what's yeah, going to happen right and then the heart of the 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 friggin 
the scene in the church that tears yeah, oh, your yeah. tears with your emotions, and then Pratt Falls <laughs> yeah. that are hilarious. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like a buffet. And, oh yeah. And John Hughes is the perfect caterer of the buffet. Oh yeah. Some weird shit in the basement here, huh? Yeah. Plants. No. <laughs> Christ. That would kill a man. Oh yeah. Great makeup. Great makeup. The little indents. Yeah. Yeah, they must have dropped like a rubber one or something like that. I don't know what they did. Yeah, I don't know either, but it looked great. Oh yeah. <laughs> that wreath is so expensive. <laughs> Back down the stairs. Sizzling, it says on the on the thing. I know that feeling. I've burned my hand a few times, uh Straining out some pasta, man. It hurts like a son of a bitch. Steam burns are very serious. Oh, yeah. Look at the tar. <laughs> the shoes. The nails. The socks. He didn't learn on the first one to go yeah. every other. He, he'd have been yeah. fine. He'd have made it to the top if he'd have gone every other. <laughs> and back down he goes. So good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's got a very... <laughs> it's like... He's almost like a Mo Howard duck. <laughs> they could have been a Tony Caesar. <laughs> well, I don't think so. No, I, he wasn't on the film. Was like, would have been perfect. Probably about the same height. Yeah, he could have doubled sure, him absolutely. He could have doubled them for just fine. At this point, though, Tony Caesar's probably not doing stunts as he is coordinating the stunts. Sure. Hmm. A little Horace Pinker hat there. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> well, now he's done. Oh, he's pissed now. Oh, yeah. Which is weird, because, okay, just, they were just right next to each other, and they, you don't really get much of a context on that. <laughs> oh, right, because he was coming out. He was right the... downstairs. Well, what's nice is that they're they're like trying to divide and conquer, right? And neither one of them are able to, right? Coordinate and, very right, well, <laughs> right? If they'd have just tag teamed, they you know they yeah. might have been able to overcome have half a chance right. in hell, yeah. <laughs> now this is just humiliation. This is anything else but that. The flypaper. Yeah. <laughs> He got tarred and feathered inside the home. <laughs> You're just waiting for it to happen, right? Look at all this build. They've let it breathe. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, you can just it's imagine. So, it's, just imagine the feeling. The pain. Oh, God's sakes. And then... <laughs> no, he's got to step out three more. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Dressed like, like a chicken. A chicken. <laughs> oh, jeez, Jesus. Oh. That's almost like stepping on a Lego. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Q 
Can you imagine how bad that would be? <laughs> and he gets it on the way down, too. Smacked in the back of the head. <laughs> and they landed on top of each other. It's so good. <laughs> I like the uh, the heater yeah, on the they're doors. Still on there. Still yeah, on nice, there, yeah. nice, nice continuity. <laughs> oh, oh. I love that the tarantula is just wherever it needs it's to be. Over the, yeah. It's perfect. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the scream it is. <laughs> there's a, there's a, Oh my god. No one's had a better scream in the history of cinema than him. <laughs> There's uh, somebody out there that I've seen that has a tattoo. Of oh da yeah, Daniel you mentioned that of Daniel Stern's face with the tarantula <laughs> on it. That's wild. <clears throat> Would, it's, wouldn't you like? Kick oh it, my god. Pick it off and then Again, smash it. He's not that smart. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. Did I get him? Is so Did good. I get him. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the address that he called 911 on is the neighbor's house. Yes. Yeah. That looks like fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Oof. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I love that Mac just said, you big horse's ass. Big horse's ass. <laughs> this movie's perfect. Oh my god. Like, we've really switched gears into really the hardcore comedy. Oh yeah. And the fact that there wasn't a lot of hardcore comedy leading up mm -hmm. means that it's super concentrated and the payoff oh, yeah. pays off. Oh yeah. This is how you write a movie. <laughs> <clears throat> Anybody out there wants to know what you gotta do? It's a slow burn. Mm -hmm. And you got to know your t your pacing and your mm -hmm. timing. Brutus, the barber, Beef King. <laughs> Do a good job hiding the stunt guys. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I agree. Mm. That rope was too long, by the way. Yeah. They would have hit the ground, but yeah. that's all right. That's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Nitpicky. That's very blurry. Yeah, a little out of focus. Very blurry. For 4K, especially. Oh. Uh, I mean, I mean I realize... you, you don't do so much with how the, the thing was shot, so if the shot's out of focus, it stays out of focus. Right, right. It's just amplified in 4K. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, sadly, this roundabout doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah. They they changed up the whole front. Yeah. The house itself is the same. He's still got no shoes on. <laughs> He's running through the snow with the thing out. Freezing my feet off.
<laughs> the wet bandits strike again. Christ. <laughs> Here comes the shovel shot that I think is oh. my favorite. <laughs> the water running in the it's sink. So good. So good. Whoa. Oh. Is that that pizza driver? <laughs> It is great, kid. You have no idea. <laughs> That's a smack right there. <laughs> he still wants to get his press. <laughs> he kicked <it. laughs> So good. <laughs> the wave is so good. <laughs> Everything is perfect. Oh. I realize that sometimes, you know, we have these great movies and all we do is talk about how good they are and yeah. laugh along and there's not a ton of insight or commentary, so to speak. But, again, the, the whole idea that it's from a kid's point of view here mm -hmm. is just tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, the turnaround and him wanting to, you know, have him back. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Gus. Mm. <laughs> All of this, well, not all, but mm. most of it being kind of ad lib improv, yeah. which is how they grew up, right? You know, like that that improv style. Yeah. They being Candy and O'Hara, and uh, Joe Flaherty is the guy that I was trying to think yeah. of the name of, uh, who the cop reminds me of, but I don't think it was actually him. Mm. Uh, the cop on the phone and that the police gag when they we'll pass each other back and forth. Well, we'll I don't think I don't think it was actually him. <laughs> Look at that beautiful snow. Mm, yeah. One of the actual times they got real snow. Right. It was the second day of production because they marked it's like whenever we actually get real snowfall, we want it for the end scene. So they dropped everything the very next day and just got it done. I love that he cleaned up the whole house, yeah. too. It didn't work. Mm -hmm.
You know, there are a few scenes like yeah. this that they shot at the actual house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm. makes you want to cry, right? Him oh, looking, yeah. looking at this picture. I mean, I'm I want to mm. cry right now, mm -hmm. and it hasn't even happened yet. Uh -oh. Well, not it happened, but I'm just saying the whole, mm -hmm. just everything. It's so perfect. I wonder if these two still talk. I have no idea. Well, I know you have no idea. I'm just, <laughs> I'm thinking out loud. Yeah. And here's the song, mm -hmm. the theme, the main theme, somewhere in my memory. Oh. It might be my favorite John Williams song of all time. How much money did she spend? He's got his... Burberry <laughs> sweater coat. <laughs> yeah, well, he almost <laughs> did. <laughs> the, the disbelief out of everybody. And John Hurd, <laughs> you, like you said, is so oh, yeah. Joe Everyman dad. Mm -hmm. I can't get over how ugly mm. this house is. <laughs> the set, not the yeah, actual. Right, right. I would love a piano in my home. Mm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> the little the, the, the little the yeah, mouth twitch. Yeah. And here's really the big payoff, mm -hmm. right? The whole and the song. Mm. Is this the first this is the first commentary out of hundred and twenty five or whatever there are where at the end of it, Nick and I are both crying at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad that we aren't on film. The wave. Oh, God damn it. Fuck you, John Hughes. I can't say much. I'm choking up. Man. That's I can't it. help it. <laughs> oh. It's too perfect. It, it's, it's so good. The, uh... John Hughes... I, I don't even know how to... Well, let me get this... <laughs> One Com thing you didn't the clean com up. A comedy thing at the end <laughs> yeah. is, is is perfect. It's nice that that swing it back around a little bit. Right, right. You got to have a just a little stinger at the right. end, or not a stinger, but a a little jab or something yeah. to make you smile. Like he wasn't going doing carpentry and everything and right. fixing the shelves. <laughs> he kind of forgot about that part. Yeah. Um. I there aren't enough words mm. to praise. Uh, John Hughes, John Williams, and John Candy. Right. The three Johns mm. that all 
came together to make this movie oh, yeah. a 10 out of 10. Uh, perfect. And this is, you know, it, it's an actual Christmas movie, like I said at the top, oh, yeah. where, you know, not a... Like a genuine, heartfelt Christmas film, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, I guess we're at the end now, so we, we can kind of bury him a little bit, but sure. we, did, we did want to have Trent on this one. Yeah. And, and he, he poo-pooed the idea. Yeah, he, he said... Did, said he's, he w- he's not really a fan. I don't know how anybody uh, could not be a fan of this movie. He said, he said something about not being able to stand Macaulay Culkin. I don't know. I don't know. I swear he wanted to do an Uncle Buck commentary at some point, so I don't know. I don't know what about it. I don't know either, but whatever. <laughs> so we brought it to you anyway. Um, there he is, John Candy. God bless him. My boy, Kieran Culkin. Uh, let's see. Pizza Boy, I love that guy. <laughs> and yeah, I don't see, uh, I didn't see anywhere. No. My guy Flaherty, was, no, it, wasn't it wasn't him, wasn't. but it was similar. No. He, that's who he reminded me of. Uh, let's see, no, uh, no, no stunts, stunts that we know. No. Somewhere in my memory, John Williams, of course. John Williams, of course. Mm. Produced by John Williams. Performed by Mel Torme. Sure. <laughs> Mel Torme, right. Oh, God. Oh. Johnny Marks wrote both Run, Rudolph, Run and Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree? And Is that, that real? cashing some checks. I mean, he's probably dead now, but... I'm sure he will. Well, but I'm just saying... Uh, he cashed checks for a long time, I'm sure. Here we go. Uh, Miracle, Tonight Show, Wonderful Life, Grinch. Turner Entertainment. Turner. So Turner owned it at the time, MGM, I guess. MGM, yeah, he bought sure. MGM for a time. Right. Winnetka Police Department, mm-hmm. Village of Winnetka. Lincoln Avenue is actually the name of the street. Okay. So they were, like, they didn't lie. It actually yeah. is Lincoln Avenue. <laughs> um, there's O'Hare, American Airlines, Trinity High School. <laughs> uh, so good. Oh. I love Chicago. This movie is so Chicago. <laughs> uh, I love John Hughes. I love John Candy. I love John Williams. Oh. <clears throat> I love seeing Nick choke up. <laughs> There he is. There's Bless you, sir. Thank you for making my life better. Thank you, sir. Ah. One of my... Well, if Nightmare on Elm Street is not my favorite movie of all time, if it's not, then my actual favorite movie, and a close number two if it is, is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, sure. which, written by John Hughes, mm-hmm. starring John Candy. Yes. <laughs> um, and the brilliant Steve Martin. Sure. So, I'm just saying... They're a big influence on my life, and I love mm-hmm. all of them, and I love this movie, and I'm so <laughs> glad we watched it, and I hope every one of you has a Merry Christmas, and you connect with a family member that you've been estranged from for a while. Yeah, so <laughs> happy holidays, and have a good time, guys, and uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next year. Bye. <laughs>